Okay, by request, this morning I'm going to show you how I make my one point waffles. You will need for your ingredients, you will need a protein powder. I use Quest protein powder. You can find it at GNC or Walmart. I like the salted caramel flavor, but there's many other flavors you can get if you don't like salted caramel. There's also a plain, there's vanilla, uh, there's a chocolate. You'll need some bacon powder, that's zero points. You're only gonna use one teaspoon of that. Back to the protein powder, there's a scoop that comes with the protein powder and you're gonna use one scoop of the protein powder which equals one point. You need one teaspoon of your favorite sugar substitute. I like the monk fruit, <laughs> monk fruit sweetener. You'll need two to three tablespoons of water, a waffle iron, and one egg. First, I mix my dry ingredients together. I'm putting in my one scoop of protein powder one tablespoon of baking powder, one of sweetener. Okay, now I'm gonna give this a quick little stir just to get all the dry ingredients mixed together before I add my egg and water. All right, and crack my egg. I don't see any eggshells. Give it a good beat. Right. After your egg is mixed up good, you're gonna add it back to your bowl with your dry ingredients. And I'm gonna start with two tablespoons of water. One more tablespoon of water. So, so far I've used four tablespoons of water. You just kind of have to watch it, engage it, make sure it's not too thick, make sure it's not too runny. It's about the consistency that I want it right here. So, like that. Now let's move to the wolf iron. I picked this waffle iron up at Target uh, about six months ago. It was on a Target cartwheel for 40% off. I think I got it for like $13. I've already sprayed it with some non-stick cooking spray. And we're just gonna pour it right into the center of the waffle iron and let it spread out. rubber spatula. That way I'm making sure I'm getting all the mix in there. I'm just gonna make sure it went all to the edges. Just wait. I put mine on a napkin just in case there's any overflow. It'll catch the mess for me. Napkin comes in handy. Look at that. It's just oozing out as it's cooking and fluffing. All right, let's check on our waffle. <laughs> well, even though I sprayed it with cooking spray, it looks like it's stuck to the top a little bit. Apparently, I didn't spray it very well. Ta da! There is your one point waffle. You put whatever toppings on it that you want. Like I said, you've only got one point here, so it leaves you a lot of room for toppings. 
I'm going to use pancake syrup, the Walden Farms. It is zero points and it comes in different flavors if you don't like traditional maple syrup. But you could also do fresh fruit on here. You know, fruits are zero points. I hope you liked this video. If you did, remember to give it a thumbs up and comment below with any tips or suggestions or just to let me know you enjoyed it. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please hit that red subscribe button at the bottom and hit the bell right next to it so you'll get a notification every time I upload a video. Thank you for watching.